la Universidad Autónoma de Occidente somos wow. Somos calidad. Y tú eres la razón de este proceso de excelencia. Somos tecnología que garantiza la proyección de tus ideas. Somos innovación y emprendimiento. Y estamos felices de acompañarte en la creación de tu proyecto de vida. Somos inclusión. Sabemos que la educación es para todos. Una mezcla de ideas, cultura y sentimientos que nos dan una mirada, como la tuya. Somos responsables con el medio ambiente y así puedas impactar a tu entorno. Somos personas enamoradas de lo que hacemos. Somos como tú. Somos wow. Speaks English, a radio program made by students for the world. Welcome to Wow Speaks. Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome to Wow Speaks English. My name is Diana Toro, your hostess today in our sixth program of the semester. Let me introduce my crew today. We start from our left with Jennifer Hurtado. Hi, Jen. Hi, teacher Dianita, and hi, everyone. Hope you're doing good. So, who's next to you? Well, next to you, next, next to me, I have my friend, Juan David. Hi, Hello, Juan. lads. How are you doing? Thank you, Jennifer. And that's a very British greeting. It is. <laughs> And then to my right, I have Susie. Hello, Susie. Hi, teacher. How are you? How are you guys today? And next to you. Hola, hello, guys. My name is Elvis. And then to my right. Okay, awesome. And Juan David wants to say hi to the audience. Yes, we want to say hi to the audience watching us live. How are you this week? How are you going? What's your name? Where are you listening from? And while you write in the comments, we invite you to follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Wild Speaks English, you'll find interesting content over there. For example, you'll see fun facts, videos and info regarding our future programs. And if you also are a student from the UAU, you can uh, want, and if you want to be part of a radio program, you can send us a message through Instagram saying that you want to be uh, part of a program you want to be, and you want to be with us. And also, If you would like to be a guest in a program, you may contact us explaining the topic and ideas that you would like to share in our program. Before starting our first session, we have an important announcement. Students, you will receive an extra grade just by registering and sending the video. So, Susana, mm -hmm. why don't you tell our listeners what is this about? Yes, sure. Hey guys, the Sun Challenge is back. The Languages Institute from Universidad Autónoma de Occidente, the ULC Network and CIDESCO have the pleasure to invite all the students to participate in the Sun Challenge 2022. This challenge will give the opportunity to students from 11 universities in the country to show everyone the power of their voices. This English Sun Challenge will have two categories, soloist and duo, where interpretation, quality, and English pronunciation will be accessed. To participate, you must have in mind the following aspects. These are, both men and women can participate. Second, the, most, the songs must be sung in English. The songs must be no longer than five minutes. And last one, singers cannot participate in the two categories. Right. And they also must um, select either solist or duo modality to participate. You must be a student um, in the university that are participating. And also all the participants um, must be amateurs. By amateurs we understand a person who engage in a study or maybe in a sport or other activity in this pleasure greater for a financial uh, benefit for professional reasons. Youth are both experienced in English teachers and musicians too. Uh, who can guarantee the decisions and objectivity and impartiality. 
And so the English Song Challenge will give institutional recognition to the first place and will certificate uh, to the old finalist. I can tell you my experience because I participated in the Song Challenge in 2019 and it was amazing. And I invite you that you can join and participate to this program. Remember, registrations are open until September 26th and mark your calendars to watch the final on November 3rd. Register in here. So don't forget to fill out the attendance form by clicking on the link located in the program description. So guys, well, without further wait, let's start with our new station name. What do you think about it? Have you ever wondered what other people think about stuff? Do you also want to express your opinion? Imagine if you can hear what others have to say. Well, that is why we created this section. Welcome to What Do You Think About It? Okay, okay, guys, since your opinion is so important for us, we have created this section called What Do You Think About It? In here, we want to know your opinion, your reasons, your comments, and how much do you know about any specific topic? Today, we have very, very interesting questions about our main topic, and Juan David is going to give us more information regarding that. Sure. So, our questions for today are the following. So, number one. Do you know at what age the Queen Elizabeth died? Second, do you know what is planned London Bridge? The third one is, how do you see the future of the United Kingdom with the new king? And the fourth one is, what do you know about Queen Elizabeth II? While you give us your answers in the chat, let's connect with Daniela, Juliana and Fabian, who are asking people around the campus. But I think she died at 96 years old, if I'm okay. Yes, she died when she was 96 years old. She passed away at the age of 96. I'm not pretty sure about it, but I think it's a plan they have uh, before she died uh, for, well, taking her body to a, fun a funeral or something like that. Plan London Bridge is a code name for the procedure of taking the king or the queen's dead body to the cemetery, to the graveyard. That is when a queen or king died. That, that's the plan that they have to follow after that. Well, I think it's like the protocol the royalty needs to follow when someone passes away. When a new king takes over, it's difficult to predict, okay? However, King Charles is like uh, to follow his mother's tradition, right? So I think that the United, the United Kingdom is going to stay united, so to speak. About the Commonwealth, I don't know what's going to happen to the Commonwealth. I hope it's still there. In charges. To be completely honest, I believe it will be trashy. Maybe because of the earth, or maybe because of the beliefs of the people. Something like that. Queen Elizabeth II was the longest reigning monarch in England, uh, I think, and uh, she was the one of the only people in the world to not need a passport and she also didn't have a driver's license or didn't need one and um, she had her own like a special line of corgis that she uh, loved and like she used to breed for her like company I may be a little illiterate but all I know is about the memes of her not dying and that she governs over Brit over England, I believe. Uh, other than that, I don't know much. I think it's going to be very bad because the new king, Carol III, 
does not have the same popularity that the Queen Isabel has before. So I think it's gonna have a massive impact in the economy. Okay, so thank you very much, Daniela Castro, Juliana Incapié, and Fabian Valverde for running those interviews around campus. And thank you everyone who participated answering them. You have been actively sending us your messages in the chat, and we want to take some time to read some of the comments. So let's see what comments do we have right now from the different answers, the different questions that we uh, posted on the screen. So question number one was, do you know at what age uh, Queen Elizabeth died? Juan David, are you able to read the screen over there to see the answer? Yes, I see that Juan David Perez Ceron said that she died at 96 years old. At 96, and most of you have answer correctly in the comments. The second question is, do you know what is the plan, the London Bridge or the London Bridge plan? What answers do we have? Let's see while we wait. Okay, Jen, what about you? So Juan David Perez said, in my opinion, it's overrated, not because she did bad thing. I think he's dead, she's dead, uh, doesn't really affect all of us but that doesn't mean she wasn't important. Okay, that is Juan David's opinion. Thank you very much for participating. And Susana, what other comment do we have? Uh, well, uh, Stefania Velas told us, it was world news since she was the queen of many countries, being one of the greatest monarchs. Her death became a train and she reigned for many years, 96 years. Okay, and you guys are telling us what you knew about the, the Queen, and these are the comments that we're reading right now. What else do we have, Elvis? Are you able to read the comments from Daniel? Elvis, mm -hmm. over there? Yes. Yeah. The Queen was involved in the polemic of Lady D. Okay, thank you, Daniel Ruales, for that answer. And finally, Manuela Montoya says, the death of Queen Elizabeth II made world news as she was the one, she was one of the most influential monarchs in the world. She is definitely right. So guys, talking, um, talking to you, what was your first reaction when you heard the news? I want to start with Juan David. Um, my first reaction was basically, Bloody hell, she died. Why wow, she died? She was such a beautiful lady and such a brilliant, um, just her majesty, the queen, is just the queen. And you cannot imagine when a queen, a queen dies. It's just awful for everybody. So I was sad. But I was also intrigued by what will happen to the United Kingdom, because as you know, she was um, basically the one who had it for more than 70 years. And that means world wars, pandemics. That means the change of women and the power. That means uh, integration of LGTB communities in the country. It's a lot of changes that she introduced to the country. So it's really important for everybody. Okay, thank you so mm -hmm. much. And Jen, what was your reaction? What, what was your first thought? Well, I was surprised and I was sad too, because, you know, um, we get involved with the royal family, with the um, on Netflix, The Crown. So I was like, no, that was so sad because I was watching her history, her family, and how she became to be like a queen. And I was also curious because of the reason of her death. So I was very curious yes. about that because we're going to tell you later on the history of health mm -hmm. of the queen. And she was a pretty healthy woman. Yeah, she was. She Almost was. never got sick. And it was very weird, but you know, I have I have a, a theory. She got COVID this year in February, mm -hmm. so maybe she recovered. However, you know, COVID leaves mm -hmm. some traces yeah. in your body, mm -hmm. and maybe that affected her because she was she was so strong. And also her age, like she was ninety six. Mm -hmm. Yes, definitely. And you guys, first reaction when you heard the news. And I want to ask the audience, of course, where were you? What were you doing? What was your first reaction? Mm -hmm. Were you like, Queen what? Mm -hmm. Who is that? Or were you like, oh, that's so sad? Or what was your reaction? I want to hear 
and read your comments in the chat. Susie, what was your reaction? Well, first, uh, when I saw it, uh, I saw it in TikTok, actually, and then I saw, like, it was like the Queen Elizabeth died, she's not immortal, they say that, and I started to look in Instagram the, the news, and it was true. And I couldn't believe it because I thought that, I mean, she has reigned for too many years. She has been a celebrity since then. So, you know, I was very surprised. I honestly thought she was immortal. <laughs> yes. I said, no, even her son is going to die before her. <laughs> <laughs> and Elvis, your reaction? When I entered my class, the vault, the fears, come on, the Elizabeth Queen died. Wait, this a uh, joke? I uh, think the alarm means maybe in the social networks to to do, for example, the war like the D versus the Elizabeth Queen. Okay. <laughs> so is my fear reaction. Got it. So you, so you first thought it was a joke. Yes. Okay. So we want to read some of the comments because you have been actively participating, answering the questions, and right now you're telling us what was your reaction when the queen died. We have a comment from Alex Caicedo telling us Queen Elizabeth was the one who was in the power the longest, and that's why her death was so influential. Mm -hmm. Yes, Alex, thank you for your comment. What other comment do we have regarding people's reaction? I see some comments saying that people were in shock and things like that, but Juan David, tell us about Juan Esteban. Juan Esteban Fernandez says, I felt really surprised because we are living in another historical moment of humanity. It is really impressive, very impressive. Okay. Uh, by the way, I also saw a really good comment from Carol Maigal that said the queen had many dogs and her husband was a prince not a king and that's really worth noting that queen king, prince charles the duke of edinburgh wasn't a king and she had in her power to make her king to give him the title of being king but she just didn't she, 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 she was, wanted the, the, she spotlight. Wanted the whole power yes <laughs> exactly there you go okay and a final comment Jennifer? Yes, we have a final comment from um, Juan Pablo Acevedo, and it says, the king of England has disappeared at the age of 19, um, 70 of them um, as sovereign, immersed in desolation by the death of her husband, the Duke of Edinburgh. And that's so true. I also want to mention um, a reaction that I saw um, this week on TikTok. I don't know if you guys um, saw it from a girl that was telling, I guess it was her mom or maybe her, but her sister, they were at the kitchen and they were cooking. And she was like, oh my God, the, the queen had just uh, passed away. And they was like, who, Beyonce? That was hilarious. And that, that also was so mean because, you know, I was expecting like a reaction about the queen Elizabeth. And it was- The memes was and the videos that I have seen is like, if you are North American, you don't care yeah. because it's not your queen. Mm -hmm. But the rest of the world, I mean, the Commonwealth, they they do care. And I'm just fond or I was just fond of her. Mm -hmm. I, I did also watch The Crown. So I was like, oh, I, I was like, I know her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Exactly. I feel you. Very good. We have another um, comment from Carol Pajares. And she says, I actually forgot about the queen, but thanks to that I remember that there's no precedence in all the countries. Okay, all right, thanks a lot. Now, it is time to go into our second section of today, and that is the Tip Talk. Many things happen every day at the U. Let's discuss them at Tip Talk. So guys, welcome to the Tip Talk. And today we're gonna talk about the queen's death, but not only about her death, also about her life and interesting facts, maybe things that you didn't even know. Who she was, how great she was, uh, her influence as a queen, uh, the right succession, who was happening with the monarchy now, and um, in addition, various mm -hmm. facts that you're gonna find very interesting, right Juan? Yes, so hello everybody again. I would like to start this segment with some numbers about her late majesty the queen. So first of all, Elizabeth Alexandra Mary was born on April 21 of 1926. It means she was 96 years old. She witnessed the end of the British Empire. 
She was the first president in the UK to make a large distance phone call, same as for emails, the first royal to send an email indeed, besides from being the longest women monarch, only surpassed by a man, which is Louis the 14 that reigned La France from 72 years and 110 days. She's also the first monarch that broadcasts a live coronation, live on 2nd of June 1953. And also, she had a record on the radio and TV appearances on the Christmas broadcast. And I want to remind everyone to take notes while you're listening, because at the end, we're going to have a game. It's called Get It Right, and you better get all the answers right. If you were paying attention during our transmission, you are going to be the winner. Also, I want to remind you to fill out the attendance form. If you're listening through YouTube, in the description underneath the video, you're going to find a link to fill out the attendance. So what else do we have, Susie? Hey, okay, now that you mentioned her appearances and how good she looked, her death was very unexpected and a great sorrow for the world. Perhaps many are now trying to understand this cause of her death and how this relates to her death. After her death, the crown was immediately passed to her firstborn, Charles. According to reports, Queen Elizabeth II had been planning for her succession for some time. Uh, what is clear is that Queen Elizabeth II did not suffer from any kind of degenerative disease, but died of natural causes. Last February, Queen Elizabeth II contracted COVID-19, which could have weakened the cardiopulmonary health of the longest serving monarch in the history of the United Kingdom. Right. And as we were talking about uh, the disease of the Queen, we're going to mention it, um, their disease, starting from March of the 1993, where she had flu. Then in 1994, um, she had like a broken left breast. Then we have in 2003, a cartilage operation on the knee. In 2013, uh, gastroenteritis. Then in New Year of um, 2017, like a bad cold. Then in November 2021, or 2021, like a back injury. Then, as we were talking about in February of 2012, um, of 2022, she passes through the COVID-19. And then in July of this same year, she misses the Jubilee celebrations due to weakness and fatigue. And I don't know, guys, uh, what do you think about this? But it's like we have more uh, diseases than she had in her whole life. I mean, I know people that are sick every single week. Right. <laughs> That's very true. Sometimes something had to happen to her. Uh, it's, it's short, with such a short illness list is really unexpected that she died. Mm -hmm. So, guys, let us know in the comments what do you think about this unexpected death of the Queen? Well, although there are rumors that are pointing to the fact that Queen Elizabeth uh, may have died from a fall. What I have heard is she has fell of fall, and you guys, you know that at age she is, she falls in the shower or down the stairs. It can be fatal. It will be one of the many possible causes of the former monarch's death. Other rumors suggest that Elizabeth has been suffering from leukemia for some time, which gradually deteriorated his state of health. Yeah, it's incredible. It's really incredible everything that happens and that many things that are not real. You know, it's the crown and it's the royalty family. And there are things that some people, you know, hide because they don't need to tell everything to everyone. And in the end, she was ruling. And... We were just, like we were saying, and like Susa was saying, we're just simple mortals. But something that it's very important and a curious fact is where we're going to talk about later. So let's talk about a little bit about those um, likable things topic that maybe we didn't know about the Queen Elizabeth. Very good, Jennifer. Thank you very much. So let's talk about the new monarch. Who is the successor to the late Queen Elizabeth II? As we all know, the death of the Queen shocked the whole world and left uncertainty in the United Kingdom. As there is now a new uncertain era after more than seven decades of stability in the crown. In addition, for the first time in more than half a century, there will be substantial variations in the line of succession. 
which would involve transfers of domiciles, new entries, and titles. Of all, the, all of them, one stands out above all others. Prince William is now at the head of the new line of succession to the throne. Do you think that in the future, Prince William could become the king? How long do you think this is going to take? Um, I was recently watching some Nostradamus predictions, and they said that King uh, Charles' uh, monarchy is going to be short, and then that William is going to become king, but that he's going to bring many changes to mm -hmm. the monarchy, that things are not going to be as uh, traditional as they used to be with Queen Elizabeth. So we want to ask you guys in the audience, what's your opinion about King Charles? Is he going to be a good king? Would you rather have Queen, um, King William being the king? Give us your opinions in the comments. And Juan has some more information to share with us. That's right. But just for the sake of you to think, there has been two only Charles in the throne, and those Charles had been terrible. So just think what will happen with this third one. Will the third one be the charm, or will King Charles be bad? So. For now, four children, eight grandchildren, and 12 great-grandchildren. That is the extended family that Queen Elizabeth leaves behind her death. Can you believe it? That's a lot of people. We might as well mention that she married the, her cousin, the late Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh, who was the third cousin of Queen Elizabeth II, as both with great-grandchildren from Queen Victoria. Elizabeth reportedly fell for the prince when she was 13 years old, and the two eventually married on November 1947. Her firstborn, Charles III, Prince of Wales, is now at the moment of the... He is now going to be king because of her mother. He's 73 years old and his former proclamation took place on this Saturday and a solemn ceremony at St. James Palace. It's another historical day for the British capital. Camilla, his second wife, after the death of Lady D, or Diana, the Prince of Wales, in 1997, is now queen consort. And besides, after uh, the Duke of Cornwall and Cambridge, um, the next heir to the throne are their children. In their older age, I'm going to mention some of them. Well, all of them. <laughs> First of all, we have the Prince George, who was nine years old. Then the Princess Charlotte, with seven years old. Then uh, the Prince Louis, with four years old. It will be noted that William and his wife, uh, Catherine, assume the Duchy of Cornwall. And also the title um, designated for the firstborn uh, some of ring British monarchs. And on Thursday, the September the 8th, uh, they were appointed the Duke and the Duchess of Cornwall, and also the Duke of Cambridge. Fifth in, in the succession is the William's brother, this is the Prince Henry, with 37 years old, and also followed by his children. First is Archie uh, Windsor, with three years old, and then Lilibet Diana, uh, with 15 months. And the list is definitely too long for the monarch ascension, so let's see the comments of our audience. What do you think about um, the list? What do you think about the prince? What do you think about the succession? And we do have many comments. Uh, what I have seen that is a common thing is that many of you are saying that you don't like monarchies, that you think maybe we are living modern times, and that the monarchies shouldn't exist anymore. And based on the predictions, supposedly people um, that follow monarchies and that fan monarchies are dying now because they are uh, at advanced age. Mm -hmm. And new generations, they don't see the need of a monarchy. So sooner than later, monarchies will disappear. Mm -hmm. So can you help me, Jen, help um, read the comment that we have right there? Of course. We'll have a comment from Daniel Esteban saying, I did not like the monarchy right now don't have the purpose because can't help the government or participate in a political. It's only like a TV show for the entertainment of the people on England. Like a reality show. It is. <laughs> I think that was the first reality that ever existed. Mm -hmm. To watch the people's life, monarchy life, how they live, how they wear, what they wear. Um, maybe their different situations with divorces and children, things mm -hmm. like that. We can definitely say that that was the first one. <laughs> Elvis, yeah. what else do we have? So, read the... So, uh, Andrea Rodrigo say, well, King Charles has kid a uh, challenge ahead. He does have a challenge, <laughs> yes. yes. And Susie, what else do we have? 
Uh, well, Trudin Games says the tree section is very large. Yes, indeed it is. There are like almost 23 successors that can be after, you know, each one. <laughs> So if one is missing, there are many of them <laughs> to fulfill it. Daniel Urbano says, very interesting, the line of succession. As I said before, I thought that he would not take the throne and leave it to the son. I honestly thought the same. Like since he got married for the second time, that is something that the monarchy doesn't accept. Mm -hmm. Divorce is not accepted eh, as well as it should be. I thought that maybe the right to be king would have been taken away from him due to this. What do you think, Juan David? Perhaps he can abdicate as his grandfather, great grandfather, I'm sorry. Or maybe the fact that um, Lady D died, it's an excuse for him to be able to be king. Because we actually don't know if that was an accident or something that somebody perhaps <laughs> planned. <sent laughs> plan yes. Because they didn't like um, Lady D indeed. She wasn't mm -hmm. loved in, in monarchy because of her. Can you remember me the name? Kate. Kate has some similarities with Lady D. Yes. The way he, she treats people, the way she dresses, the way she moves. She's quite similar to Lady D. Even they have compared some of her outfits. Mm -hmm. That's and right. And they're very stylish as um, Princess Diana was. Okay, guys. So, do we have one more? Juan Esteban Fernandez says, I think William won't have to wait a long time to be king because Ch Charles feels that he's not accepted in the UK. And I think that this is a common feeling. Um, he waited a long time yeah. to be king. He yeah. did want to be king, but right now maybe he doesn't have the, the strength to fulfill <laughs> yeah. all the responsibility yes. that that entitles. Okay, so most of us at some point, we have heard in series or movies, when they crown uh, a monarch a title, like the first of his name. This happens a lot of Game of Thrones. <laughs> Like Diana, first with her name, the queen of the Andals, the, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, the, 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 the mother of dragons yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and yes. all these things. So he says the titles are first with his name, queen or king. And Queen Elizabeth was no exception since her official title was Elizabeth II by the grace of God of the United Kingdom of British Britain and Northern Ireland and queen of her um, other realms and territories, head of the Commonwealth of Nations and defender of the faith. And you know, guys, talking about the name, when they become king or queen, they sometimes change Changing. their real name. <laughs> and something particular about Queen Elizabeth is that she didn't want to change her name. She said, why another name? My name is Elizabeth. I will be Queen Elizabeth. I remember that because of the crown of the Netflix. Crown. <laughs> you know, that's exactly why I remember. <laughs> In addition, she was the sixth woman to ascend to British throne and holds the record for the longest reign monarch in England. During the World War II, she enlisted in the armed forces in the Women's Auxiliary Territorial Service and reached the rank of second lieutenant. Right, Juan? That's right. I would like to point out something to Juan David Perez. And he said that in the UK, there's no president, there's a first minister, but the power or the order is under the monarchy. Actually, when the, the power is not under the monarchy, the monarch is just an image. The prime minister makes the connection between the royalty and the House of Commons, which is composed by the commons and the lords. But the power, indeed, it's on the commons, the people that, the, the ones that people elect to govern the country. Now, let's continue. Her Majesty was also quite a traveler. According to the Telegraph, Queen Elizabeth was probably the most traveling monarch in history. Mm -hmm. In her 70 years as queen in the UK, she visited at least 117 different countries and traveled more than half a million kilometers. And she started traveling from the moment she began to be queen. She made a, a trip through the, throughout the Commonwealth. Also, she was really known for the, her dedication to the role Every morning, every single morning, she checked the red box. For the ones that watch The Crown, we know what the red box yep, is. Yes, we do. But for you that perhaps don't know what the red box is, it's a box that contains royal documents that she checked every morning at the beginning of her reign and in the end. Jennifer, what do you think about it? I think what you're saying, it's really true. And I really invite you guys, if you haven't seen The Crown yet, I really invite you to see The Crown because it's an amazing series. So, Susie, what do you think about uh, what 
Juan is uh, saying, and what do you think about, what do you need to tell us about what uh, people think about the queens that are around the world? Uh, well, I would like to tell you all that, for example, in the United States, the President Joe Biden and the First Lady Jill Biden released a statement after the queen's death. Uh, saying that she defined an era and defended the bedrock alliance between the United Kingdom and the United States. That's crazy, right? Even on the start of the world, uh, the Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida told reporters the Queen had a significant role in creating world, peace and prosperity, adding that her passing was a huge loss to the international community. In China, the French president, Ukrainian president, everybody is talking about her death. And even our first lady from our country is going to the funeral. Did you know that? Yes. But wasn't it Francia Marquez also going? I'm not sure. But let's not get into that topic. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're, we're going to need another program to talk about that. Exactly. Yes. Okay. And? So uh, what Susie was saying, it's right. And even here in South America, more precisely in Brazil, the president uh, Jair uh, decreted three days of mourning to pray respect to the queen. Unfortunately, not everything is rose color. Some observes uh, reflect on how the British Empire's suppression um, of independence movement complicated the Queen's legacy. I think that we as a Colombians uh, who were once located by Spain must understand that black, Caribbean and Indian and Islander people around the world who were subject uh, to hover school routines and economic deprivation under the British Colombians are like a load to have such bad feelings and also for the Queen Elizabeth because of all the Lady D team, you know, the Lady D topic. And after all, they were also their subjects. And before we continue, we want to ask you, do you know any fun facts about the Queen? Do you know something that you have seen in movies or in videos lately? Something interesting and different than what we have already said. Maybe what was her favorite color? What was her favorite food? Because lately, a lot of people have been leaving gifts in front of Buckingham Palace, in Balmor, and everywhere, and they're leaving something in particular. Do you know what it is? So we want to read your comments later on regarding this topic. What do you know about the Queen that most people don't know? Let's continue with Elvis. So the living this writer? Yes. Marquis Bob, may I add the well of love that don't we? Well, I believe we don't love them as much as the late queen. She um more than Terry Corgis through her lifetime and did well she also have an elephant and so on fell. Universidad Autónoma de Occidente, somos wow. Somos calidad. Y tú eres la razón de este proceso de excelencia. Somos tecnología, que garantiza la proyección de tus ideas. Somos innovación y emprendimiento. Y estamos felices de acompañarte en la creación de tu proyecto de vida. Somos inclusión. Sabemos que la educación es para todos. Una mezcla de ideas, cultura y sentimientos que nos dan una mirada, como la tuya. Somos responsables con el medio ambiente y así puedas impactar a tu entorno. Somos personas enamoradas de lo que hacemos. Somos como tú. Somos WOW. Thank you guys for waiting for us. We were taking a little break, but we're back. So we were talking about something that in my case is something nice about the queen and it's about her puppies, her corgis. And she had a collection of them. She raised them. She um, had many of them. I think in her life, she had more than 30, 
30. Yes. 30? Yep. But Elvis is going to keep telling us more information about this. So Elvis, start again. Yep. Leaving this writer, or came up, may I add wall of love, don't we? Well, I believe we don't love them as much as the late queen. She won more than three years through her lifetime. And she also has an elephant and someone fell lines. And talking about this, that is really funny. Why don't we mention the time she was undercover and pranked some tourists telling them she was done the queen or time that she went to party in Connit with her sister Annie on central London. That's right. And by the way, did you know that the queen did not need it, nor a passport or a driver's license? How amazing is that? She was the only one in the royal family with that capability. People already know you, so they don't need to check your identity, right? <laughs> mm. Oh, that's right. Mm. Okay. Well, guys, thank you so much for your comments. We are reading some very interesting facts. Something that I had no idea about and is difficult for me to believe is a comment made by Angie Valentina Patino. And she is saying the queen was very fond of video games. And it was said that she had a goal Nintendo Wii. Is that possible? It's possible. Really? Yes. Do you imagine the queen there <laughs> playing with the remote control? I'm sorry, but are you... You're, you're freaking hitting me like a gold Nintendo. That's amazing. I do remember when she acted at the Olympics with James Bond. She, she flew from a helicopter and she appeared in, in the stadium. She would. I mean, she, I was, she, she, did, she wasn't in the helicopter, but somebody acted as if it was the queen. But she oh, was, she was, she was, I was about to say. But at the <laughs> beginning, she was with James Bond and, they, and Bond was like, I'm James Bond, and I'm the Queen Elizabeth, and they were walking. <laughs> oh, wow. All right. So we have another very fun fact. Um, Juan David Perez says, uh, we gave her a gold Nintendo, but the guards didn't let the company give her the gift. So at the end, I'm confused. Did she play the video game? She didn't get it. I want someone to Google it and confirm the information because... For me, that's very interesting and funny. I mean, I can't imagine her like being there playing with her grandchildren or something like that. Susie, what other comment do we have? Well, we have Oscar Andres Quiroz tell us he had a presence in rock. The cover of the 1977 Sex Pistols single, God Save the Queen. With the face of the Queen, her eyes and mouth were hidden by the names of the group and their hit song. All right. And... He, okay, that was about the queen. Well, she had 30 dogs. Yes, that is what we just mentioned. And... Uh, the one that answered, he said, she didn't get the name. It is now at the museum. At oh, the museum. that's a shame. Yes. I, you can donate it to me. Yes. <laughs> I would like it. We can play here during the program. So, guys, uh, our partner, Juan Fernando, has... Uh, prepare a CVS video for us. So we're going to watch it to learn some more information about the Queen and maybe to remember the moment that her death was announced. Let's watch the video. She truly was one of a kind. Lee Cowan looks back on the extraordinary life and times of Elizabeth Alexandra Mary Windsor, Queen Elizabeth II. A few moments ago, Buckingham Palace announced the death of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. Her death, even at 96, still came as a seismic shock. Not so much that Queen Elizabeth II was gone, but that her decades of stability and continuity were suddenly gone too. It's just a sad day. Just a very, very sad day. There are few alive today who remember a time without Queen Elizabeth. She was there during the Cold War, through the age of Twiggy and the Beatles, through wars in Afghanistan and Iraq. She adjusted to social media. She weathered Brexit. She survived COVID. I hope in the years to come, everyone will be able to take pride in how they responded to this challenge. 
and those who come after us will say the Britons of this generation were as strong as any. In her 70 years on the throne, she became one of the most recognizable, admired, and trusted figures in the world. And yet, as familiar as she was, the Queen was largely unknowable. She had such a level of integrity and affection that many of us felt she really belonged to us and we belonged to her. Gavin Ashenden was the Queen's chaplain for almost a decade. What was she like in private? Well, she was, she was actually an immensely intelligent and astute woman with a very dry wit. She didn't suffer fools gladly and above all, always generous. There was no self-absorption about her. While some saw her as aloof, others saw her royal stiff upper lip as simply an outward expression of her role as a constitutional monarch. Having grown up in the Second World War, she belonged to a generation which just got on with it. She didn't believe in emoting in public. She didn't believe in complaining in public. That was not ever her style. Sir David Kennedy is a respected British author and historian. There is something about that mystery of the monarchy that, that served her well in a lot of ways. Yes, part of her charisma, I think, in the end, derived from the fact that we didn't really know what she thought about most things. And that gave her a particular kind of prestige, which I, I think is completely unique. Okay, guys, thank you so much for staying. We're going into our last section, the Get It Right. Games, trivia, and a lot of fun. All you gotta do is get it right. Welcome to our final section, Get It Right. In this one, we're going to play a game. There are five multiple choice questions and you're invited to send us your answer in the comments. The idea is that you get it right because you were paying attention through the whole transmission. So without further wait, let's go with our first question. Jen, what is it? Sure, our first question is, what was her complete name? A. Sarah Margaret Ingrid Ugo. B. Alexia Elizabeth. C. Elizabeth Alexander Mary. And D. Martha Elizabeth Stewart. Martha Stewart. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that the cooking lady, the baking lady? Yes. Okay. So, guys, <laughs> what is it? A, B, C, or D? For sure, it has to include the name Elizabeth. So, that is a hint right there. So it is between A, B, C, and D. But you know, guys, it's interesting how monarchy, they have many names, like mm -hmm. five or seven names. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna do that with my children. I'm gonna give them like 10 different names. <laughs> and they, uh, they also have a lot of last names. They do, okay, from their whole... Like Windsor, Mountbatten, uh, and Winston. all of them. Yes. Yeah. Them. Yeah. So I'll be like Diana, Margaret, Jennifer, Susanna, Juana, uh, Toro, yeah. <laughs> something like that, <laughs> something like that. Okay, so everyone is saying C. Is that the right answer? Yes. Elizabeth Alexander Marie. Let's find out. Windsor. Windsor. Yes, okay. that is the right answer. Very good, everyone. Let's go to question number two. Susanna and Elvis. So the second mm -hmm. is. When was she born and what was her age? Okay, and Susanna can give us the options. Okay, A, 2nd of August of 1925, 90 years old. B, 30 July of 1930, 92 years old. C, 21st of April of 1926, when she was 96 years old. And D, 15 of June of 1925, when she was 97 years old. That's very good, very easy, because if you know her age, you will know her mm -hmm. birthday. I had no idea that she was born in April 21st. So that means that her sign, it was, she was a, a, a Thoros, Tauro, she was a Thoros, yeah. from 23rd, yeah. yes, yeah. I don't know what she was, yeah, she, she, she was like fire, yeah. yeah, that's why she was so strong. Mm. Okay, <laughs> so what do we have? People are saying C, April 21st, and absolutely, that is correct. Let's go to question number three, Juan David. So after her death, who is her successor? A, Prince William. B, 
Prince Charles, C. Princess Anne, and D. Prince Harry. We know that Prince Harry cannot be because Oops. he skipped royalty. Yeah. Exactly, he's not a royal, not as important royal mm -hmm. as he should be. So William, Charles, Anne, and Harry. People are saying B. Prince said a. Charles. Somebody said A because they want Prince William to be king. <laughs> we have B. But the answer is. Da, da, da. Of course, right. Prince Charles. Guys, congrats. You have been paying attention. Finally, question. I will have two more questions left. Susana, question number four. A, okay, four. How many countries did she visit? A, at least 117 different countries. B, maximum 100 countries. C, exactly 105 countries. D, no more than 90 countries. That is something that I love about monarchy. <laughs> How much they travel. <laughs> and they didn't have to pay. <laughs> Not a single tax. The queen didn't have to pay taxes, but she, but she paid taxes because she wanted to. But she wow. didn't have to pay taxes. She doesn't have to pay taxes because taxes are her salary. Yeah. She was like paying she herself. was paying to herself. Exactly. Right. <laughs> so people are saying A, at least 117 different countries. And the answer is That's right. Yes, there you go. Very good. So Elvis, question number five. What kind of benefits did she have? What kind of benefits did she have? And Jennifer can give us the options. Of course. A. She didn't need to pay uh, in the supermarket. B. She didn't have to pay any taxes. C. She could elect any president in the world. And D. She didn't have to have a passport or driver's license. Okay. Well, I think some of them are true. Not only one. So you're allowed to give us two Multiple. or more options in the answers. For sure, I don't know about, can she vote? Well, there's no precedent in that country. That's prime minister. I don't know if she could uh, elect the commons. I, I'm, I'm not aware of it. Perhaps not. Okay. I don't remember if I saw uh, here voting in the crown. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to remember. No, I don't remember. I don't remember. I, 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 I don't trying. recall. I don't recall yeah. seeing it. How is prime minister elected? The commons. Mm -hmm. But through voting. Yes. Yes. But okay. not the not the people, just the politicians. The committee inside mm -hmm. yes, the cabinet. The, the cabinet. Okay. All right. So we have people saying D. She didn't have to have a passport or a driver's license. And, well, Juan David just gave away the answer before. <laughs> yeah. So I think we have two possible answers. Let's find out what are the right ones. Bum, bum, bum. D, but also B, because you mentioned it. She didn't have to pay taxes. That's all kind of A. And she didn't have to pay at the supermarket. She didn't have to go to the supermarket. She didn't have to pay anything. I think she never went to, I think she never went to a supermarket before. No. I think she never went to a supermarket. Yeah. Yes. She never she to? never bought anything. <laughs> Everything was bought for yeah. her. Okay. Well guys, thank you so much for your participation. I hope that you enjoy all these fun facts. Um we um prepared this with much love for you guys if you want to be part of our team remember that you can send us a message into our instagram account also you can be a guest in our program uh, letting us know what topic would you like to talk about and we can definitely arrange it don't forget to register for the song challenge the idea is that you participate sending a song. You can participate as a solo artist or as a duo. It could be men and women. It could be mm -hmm. one of each gender, both genders. It's okay. And you can scan the QR code right now or take a screenshot of your screen so that you can save it for later. Even if you're not going to participate, you are invited to watch the final on November the 3rd. Thank you very much for connecting today and see you later. Bye bye, everybody. Welcome to Wow 
Speaks English. A radio program made by students for the world.